Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. Normally on this um, on this forum, on these uh, on this blog, I should say, <clears throat> I tend to look at the US E minis, but today I'd like to look at a slightly different market, which is the 6E, uh, which is actually the uh, euro against the as uh, you can see the euro against the um, US dollar uh, futures contract. So this is a currency. Okay, it's a currency chart, not an e-mini chart, but it fits in beautifully with what I've been, what we've been teaching. John and myself have been teaching in our advanced uh, um, um, webinars for for current MT predictor customers. So I'd just like to show you how we can do this because it just shows that uh, um, MT predictor techniques work on all markets, currencies as well as just the e-mini. So all markets, all time frames. Here's a TS3 buy setup. So at first sight, we might not like the look of this because the standard trader would say, hang on a second, this is a, uh, a red STF, so we wouldn't like it. But what we've been teaching in the um, webinars is how we use the larger degree charts. So the larger degree chart for a 5 minute chart is up on the 15 minute. So now if I go through and have a look at the 15 minute, whoops, I'll just take the analysis off because you can see what I've already done already. If we go back in time, this is where our here. This is where our three-minute uh, buy setup was coming in. So, what is the larger degree position? Well, we put the DP, the DP from the last swing pivot, which is here. So we can see that we had very good support at this low here. So the market was going up, making an initial correction. Our potential targets are off the deep, the last swing. This is the last swing going down here. So potential targets are actually right the way up here. So rather than this being a downtrend, <clears throat> you can see that we have a black stroke blue STF, we have a support zone here, we have a, uh, a target way above the market. So rather than being a potential sell, we'd be aggressively looking for long setups. And lo and behold, that's what exactly happened here. By the way, just to come back to this pivot, this is the same pivot on the, <clears throat> on the low here we had on the 15 minute. So you can see we actually nailed that low beautifully on the DP <coughs> target there. Uh, this would actually be in the 15 minute high, so what we can do is put the DP on here and actually then come back down and actually say, well, hang on a second, this is probably the target we want to go to based on the 15 minute uh, charts. So we put our analysis on here, and as you can see, it would have taken us into, into a long trade. <coughs> our normal position sizing uh, takes account so it would be four contracts risk $400 the market then goes up and actually then hits our first target so again based on what I've said from the 15 minute chart in that we are looking for a target up here would you really want to use the standard trade management guidelines <laughs> do excuse me I've got a bit, a bit of a cough today <clears throat> the standard trade management guidelines of coming out and the first target based on a weak STF. Well no you wouldn't and this is what we've been teaching in the uh, webinars is how to use the software to more advanced levels. So in reality rather than the target being here the target is actually right the way up here so if I put the risk reward on the target is actually up here right up here at a potential 13 R trade so we wouldn't want to take uh, plus 2 or 3R when we are aiming for 13R based on our larger degree 15 minute charts. If we're a little bit unsure about this we could then probably put our stop at break even because we've uh, just passed the 100% initial uh, level which is here. But let's move the chart forward. Just zoom in a bit. If we move the chart forward we can see that the uh, 6E does indeed rally up nicely. Keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going. We wouldn't be interested in this cell because, first of all, it's against the blue C STF, and then also it's against our large degree uh, charts. So we keep on going, going up, and there we go. We've just hit this target here. So how does this look on the 15-minute chart? Well, I think you saw the analysis I did already, is that if we go forward, here it is. Just make that a little bit bigger, it's easy to see. Here it is. The 6E has gone from the DP support here, to our DPT target beautifully. In fact, actually, if I put the Elliott waves on, it's actually done a lovely one, two, three, four, five. So we were actually coming out 
roughly at our minimum wave 5 WPT which also coincided with our DP target. But do you see how the 3 minute buy was actually here? So our 3 minute buy was actually at a wave 2 low on the larger degree chart. So this is why we look at the larger degree chart and see that for the trend and see where the markets are more likely to go. So when we come onto our shorter term charts, i.e. in this one here, we can then use it for not only deciding whether we should be buying or selling, but also it will help with our trade management. So in this particular example, you can see it actually helped by helping us not come out of the first target, which would have been just down here, but would have allowed us to actually gun for a higher target, a much higher target, uh, to come out approximately here for a lovely 13 hour trade and if I go to what the market is doing at the moment you can see this is live now <clears throat> so this trade here has literally just unfolded this morning but the reason I wanted to include it <clears throat> on this particular blog is because it fits in absolutely beautifully with what we've been teaching in our customer only uh, webinars in that we use the 15 minute or larger degree trend to get our position, to get our larger degree support, our larger degree targets, we then go down to the shorter time frame. In this example, uh, the setup came in on the five minute, but we also look at the three minute to then take our trades in the direction of that larger degree <coughs> chart, and also that will help us for managing the trade as well. And as you can see here, an absolutely brilliant trade plus 13 R. Again, I want to stress that this is on the 6E 5-minute chart. So the 6E is the euro against the US dollar. So we're looking at a currency here. It's actually a currency future. But a great example of, of how a market unfolds beautifully on something completely different to what we normally look at. So we use the same techniques, the same approaches on all markets and all time frames with MT Predictor.